telling me what it is you're actually doing here today. Uh, so we're down for the launch of the six pad at Westfield in London um, and basically we're just going to hit workout uh, and then I've had the six pad on for uh, recovery so at the moment with, with all the games that are coming thick and fast and ahead with the five test series it's, it's going to be key for me to, to get my recovery in as soon as possible and the cycle to last about 20 minutes uh, which is perfect for when I'm sat at home uh, in a hotel or wherever it may be. I'm glad you turned yourself into something cricket. You've obviously been the other and the ends and ODIs for a year now. You've been doing really as well. Um, how do you reflect on that year? Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, it was something that has been pretty tough to break into uh, the one day side because people have been playing so well uh, and it's just been a case of trying to take the opportunities uh, when you can. It's uh, been a bit frustrating at times uh, but then now looking back those those things are the bit that make you a bit hungrier um, and the desire a, a bit stronger to uh, to succeed when you do get the opportunity to, to play. You must consider yourself a pretty important cog in that team. Oh, look, I think there's 11 important cogs all the way through. Everyone um, with different aspects of their game contributes into, uh, into us hopefully performing and uh, improving as a side leading into next year's World Cup. How do you think the team's shaping up heading into the World Cup? We'll see that win against India must give you a lot of confidence. Yeah, exactly. To, to beat number two in the world, there was a lot of pressure coming in with that. A lot of people wrote us off with it. Uh, the most pleasing thing was in that, that final game. It was almost like a knockout game in, in many ways. And um, yeah, to put a performance uh, and to set the tone like our opening bowlers did uh, up top after, after winning the toss and bowling first was um, really pleasing for us as a team. And then naturally, really delighted for Ruti uh, to go and get his 100 at his home ground. Do you consider yourself in good shape then? Oh, look, it's still 12 months away, we've still a long way to go. A lot of cricket to be played, we're under no illusions that there's going to be injuries, there's going to be um, changes that, that may potentially be made, um, and you, you can't look too far ahead with conditions that, yeah, this, this summer's been red hot, next summer might be freezing cold and raining, so different conditions, different uh, pitches, uh, stadiums all contribute to, to different balances of the team. How important was it being ahead of me this week? Yeah, huge. Uh, it's great. Like back home, back home in front of a home crowd. Um, the support all the way around the country has been been great, and uh, yeah, to go back home and uh, and to win at Headingley and and win the series was uh, yeah, great fun. What about getting yourself back into a test mindset? How difficult is that now? Yeah, well, we've got, uh, we've got the four-day game this week. Uh, so we play Lancashire, so um, obviously facing Jimmy, <laughs> that's going to be a, a challenge within itself. Um, but it shouldn't be too difficult. With the amount of formats, different um, different games that we play in, different series that we play in and formats, you kind of get used to chopping and changing all the way through uh, from T20s to one day as to, uh, to Red Bull cricket. You've already kind of addressed the challenge with the video. Do you think, you know, how, how intense is that challenge going to be? And do you think spin's going to be more effective given the weather? Uh. I don't, I don't think you, we can look too too far into it. I think it's it's like anything. If you look and delve too deep into things, then you unearth unearth things that don't necessarily need to be uh, unearthed. And it, it's something that look we've we've got the skills. Uh, we're at home uh, to be able to come out and perform in um, in our own backyard. How, how do England combat those challenges that you expect in your suppose? Um, with the skills that we've learned and, uh, and grooved over many, many years. You've obviously got a wealth of experience. There's, there's three guys in the side that have played over 100 test matches. Uh, that coupled with, uh, what is it, I think three or four that have played over 50. Uh, and then you've got the youth and exuberance of the guys that are coming in, and that's the exciting part of it. A lot of people say keeping Cody is the key to the success this summer. Would you agree with that? Joe Root could be the key as well for us. There's, there's many there's many cogs within their team that, that can be, um, and there's, there's exactly the same with us. So, look, you can't focus on them too much. You've got to focus on, on the here and now, the present, and, and what we're about and, and where we're going as a team. Well, you say that about focusing on here and now, etc. The test team has struggled a bit lately. Is it time to just draw a line on that? Look, there's not many people that win away, full stop. Yes, this winter we were in Australia and Australia beat us hands down. But they batted longer than us, took their chances, bowled faster than us. That's, that's part and parcel of cricket. Sometimes you've got to accept that they, they were better than us uh, in those conditions at, at that present time. Um, so, look, it's a bit of a clean start, yeah, but at the same time it's, it's, just, it's still a game of cricket. Do you expect to still be keeping wicket and batting at five? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hope so. I've not heard any different. Uh, 
Ruti's not rung me yet anyway, if that is changing, so uh, yeah, hopefully. How did you find that against Pakistan? What's that? Betting at five feet. Oh right, fine. Yeah, I'd do it at Yorkshire. I've done it for the last ten years at Yorkshire, so I don't think it's too much of uh, uh, too much of an issue. It's good fun. And finally, in stories around about this new tournament with um, the hundred, I believe it's called. What are your thoughts on that? I don't know about it to make a comment on it. To be honest with you, There's, it's still all uh, up in the air with with everything. Um, until things are finalised, until things are put forward to us, then yeah, we don't know anything about it. So it'd be wrong of me to to make comment on something that I don't know enough about, let alone make a <laughs> make a, an informed decision about whether it's right, wrong, or anything in between. Do you prefer the six um, ten boys? Uh, there's no rules that have been decided or anything at the moment. Thank you. No worries.